Welcome to the latest update program. The topic of discussion is Report on Energy Transitions to Achieve India's Net Zero Targets. Recently, a report titled Synchronizing Energy Transitions Towards Possible Net Zero for India, Affordable and Clean Energy for All was launched. The report is crafted by IAM Ahmedabad as part of a study project initiated in November 2021. The study was commissioned with the aim of conducting a comprehensive analysis using rigorous methodologies to minimize power cost for consumers and establish an optimal energy mix encompassing all power sources. The report delves into critical questions regarding India's energy trajectory, addressing factors such as energy requirements for achieving a high human development index, potential pathways to achieve these objectives, energy mix projections until 2070, anticipated electricity cost for end-users, carbon emission projections, required investments for energy transitions towards net zero by 2070, and assessment of challenges and opportunities in the transition process. Let's discuss key conclusions of the report. There is no single solution to achieve net zero. Rather, a combination of pathways and technologies is necessary. Coal is expected to remain a significant component of India's energy system for the next two decades. Achieving net zero by 2017 necessitates substantial contributions from nuclear power and renewable energy sources. Decarbonization of the electricity sector must occur well before 2070 to achieve net zero. India's emissions are projected to range between 0.56 and 1.0 Bt carbon dioxide in 2070, with any remaining emissions gap offset through sequestration measures as outlined in the nationally determined contributions. Policies on critical minerals and carbon dioxide removal technologies will be crucial for phasing down coal. Affordable and clean electricity with low levelized cost can be attained through net zero pathways, particularly emphasizing nuclear and renewable power. Significant electrification of end use sectors is necessary, with electricity projected to constitute 47 to 52 percent of total final electricity consumption compared with the current 18 percent. Financial investments totaling Rs 150 to 200 lakh crore over the period 2020 to 2070 are estimated, with substantial international financial flows anticipated. Now is the time to test your knowledge. The question is, what is projected to remain a significant component of India's energy system for the next two decades? Nuclear power, renewable energy, coal or hydroelectric power? Send the answer to this question in the comment section. Thanks for watching. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.